It's 744, <laughs> and it's time for the Mungle Movie Review, which apparently has already started <laughs> off, off air as the giggles are going on, as I'm trying to introduce Matt keeps people. Matt giggling. I'm okay. sorry. Oh, it's just Dawn has laid out this big, huge DVD giveaway that I brought. There's like five DVDs in this pack I'm going to give away, and one of them is so blatantly... <laughs> Doesn't go. I mean, the rest of them are yeah. sh- like shiny, even and glittery and yes, colorful, it's, it's and they my pop. Eyes. And, mm-hmm. You know, and then the other one's very stoic. Yes, it's Charles for, Heston presents the Bible. It's for the children <laughs> yes. and for Grandpa. We Absolutely. can't put flashy colors on a DVD about the Bible. <laughs> Show that one to the camera, Don. That was this one has no gloss. Yeah, it, it is. is. It's, very, nice. it's very brown, as okay. opposed to say this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> right? I Heaven know. forbid we make the Bible exciting to young people. <laughs> They won't get it. <laughs> and Charlton, just no smile there whatsoever. Uh, no. And then the rest of it's like Tangled and Hannah Montana. And that yeah. one like is almost about to just go up in flames. It's so shiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, So anyway, that's coming up after the yeah. review here. We're going to give you a chance to win this whole pack of DVDs. Okay. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about Born to be Wild. It's the new little 45-minute documentary that's in uh, select theaters and IMAX. It's the one narrated by Morgan Freeman. You've probably seen the previews for it. It's with the little orangutan and the little baby elephants. No, but I heard Iggy Pop singing about it on American Idol last night. I'm not kidding. It was... Oh, where, do, where do you go? So, sometimes I don't even know who you are. <laughs> anyway, so uh, it's, it is it is a cute little thing. It's a, it's a little documentary. Again, it's only 45 minutes long, so some people are like, why would I spend ticket money for something that's only 45 minutes long? But if you watch it in IMAX about the little orphan orangutan and baby elephants, it's rated G. Like mm-hmm. I said, so it's it's great for the family if you want to take them to that. Okay. Uh, another full length movie that's out today is Soul Surfer. You guys caught the previews for this? I'm aware I've of heard the about story. It. Yeah. Yeah. Bethany Hamilton is the uh, teenager who was she was a really up and coming phenom in the surfing world. Uh, shark attack, lost her left arm, and then had to find a way to get back into surfing. And uh, her family they're they're really strong Christians. They're very outgoing in their faith and. And so um, they they did a movie about this starring uh, Anna Sophia Robb, who plays mm-hmm. Bethany, and then Dennis Quaid and Helen Hunter in there as well, who play her parents. And uh, it's rated PG uh, just mainly because of the shark attack. There's some intense stuff going on there. But the rest of the film is, is very, you know, it's interesting. I watch films like this with, with a secular press. Yeah. And I say, I hate saying secular press. I talk about words that we just throw out yeah. there. But, but people who don't really travel in Christian circles. And to them, they're like, man, this movie's just preachy. You know, because I mean, because it is it's full of scripture. I mean, that's Bethany's life. Her, She lives her and her parents live in, in, in a very strong spiritual world. So yeah. they're always talking about, you know, God's plan, the scripture. You know, there's a church scene where they're singing hymns and, you know, she's having conversations with her with her youth counselor about, you know, why? Why would God allow this to happen? So there's a, I mean, it's a very heavy Christian themed movie. But at the same time, it's so well balanced with girl power that it's just fabulous. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I say that to say a lot of. Unfortunately, a lot of Christian-based, faith-based films lack so much. I mean, we, we know that. I mean, we can say that. Um, they're sometimes horrible. But this one is so well done as far as the balance of girl power. I mean, we have all these underdog stories with, you know, baseball teams. We have Rudy. We have all very seldom is there a, Yeah, very mm-hmm. seldom is there a young girl who comes up who is so strong in her faith, but it's still so powerfully sports wise and has the mentality to overcome great odds like this. It's it, it is. It's such a great encouraging film for young girls. Empowering. So the, the girl that That's plays cool. her, how how do they uh, portray uh, they, the missing limb? CGI. They just they so okay, just, they? just exactly like Forrest Gump uh, with oh, Lieutenant Dan's legs. And so this is they spend a little but, money on this then. Yeah, but dude, it is it is seamless. I mean, the little the, the, it'll just it'll move. The end of it. It's just in watching her, watching Anna Sophia move, and and you forget that she doesn't have two arms. Mm-hmm. You forget that this is some actress with with just a blue cast on that yeah. is being greened out or blued out. It is it is done so well. So it's yeah, they they put a lot of money into it. it it's I mean it's it's a it's not a faith based company film, right? It's just a film based in faith. And they just so, want to stay true to her, to who she was, right? Yeah. They want to trace to Bethany, which you have to do that. And, and there's an interview with uh, Anna Sophia on our website. You can check out where she talks about she hangs out with Bethany a lot, and uh, they just have a lot in common. And and you know, even though it's a depressing film as far as this young girl and seeing what she goes through, it's such a happy go lucky film because of her attitude. And Anna really captures that, I think. So it's rated PG, but a great film uh, for female underdogs. So check that out. And then Catherine reviewed Hannah, and that review's on our website as well. So I can't really tell you about that one. I haven't okay. seen it. 
All right. But that's the PG-13 kind of action adventure. Mm-hmm. But you can check that out at mongleshow.com. All right. So what do you have to give away for us? Uh, well, we have a, pa- a prize package of five DVDs. It includes uh, Tangled, which we came, gave away a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. The, the final season of Hannah Montana, which mm-hmm. is this cool little uh, ultimate experience with little fan books and all mm-hmm. that in there. Yeah. Uh, we got Barbie, A Fairy Secret, which is Woo! the new Barbie film. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2, which was the follow-up to the... Pretty funny one with Drew Barrymore. Okay. And then, of course, we have Charlton Heston presents the Bible. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. I want to hear you say Chihuahua again. Chihuahua. You say it with a little bit more Beverly emphasis Hills, on Chihuahua. the Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's because I got the song stuck in my head every time I think about it. Do you? Chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 214-787-1897 or 1-866-787-1897. Looking for caller number 11.